as flames ripped through an abandoned CVS in Oakland, California. <clears throat> that place had been taken over by squatters. Left-wing policies, of course, are allowing such squatters to wreak havoc in so many places. But Democratic Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman just isn't buying in. He told the New York Post, quote, this is quite a quote, squatters have no rights. How can you even pretend that there's anything other than you're just breaking the law? I am not woke. It's wild that if you go away on a long trip for 30 days and someone breaks into your home, suddenly they have rights? This is crazy. Like if someone stole your car and then they held it for 30 days and somehow now you have some rights, he's incredulous, he should be. Fetterman's stance, of course, clashes with the Washington Post, which recently called squatting a, quote, right-wing talking point. So, Tom, I want to come to you on this because I was watching Jesse Waters on Friday and he had Clay Travis on. They were talking about the progression that so often happens. It starts with something is not a problem. Then it might be a problem, but it's overblown. Then it's actually good if you think about it, and then it's racist if you're against it. <laughs> Where are we on the squatting scale here? Well, it looks like we're almost to the racist point. Uh, <laughs> the, you know, but I, I love that Fetterman, you know, he's been talking some sense lately, which is surprising to me. But yeah, of course, it's a no-brainer. The idea that you can occupy, a, a, you know, someone's home, and then all of a sudden it's yours. Why wouldn't I just buy a house and then... After my first month, stop paying my mortgage. And then when they come to me and say, well, I was here 30 days. It's, you know, I think we're good. It doesn't make any sense at all. So, yeah, I think that their argument, it's a right-wing talking point. Uh, of course it is. I mean, this is because, <laughs> it, of course it is, true. and it should be. And the victims, Molly, <laughs> yeah. aren't necessarily right or left-wing or whatever. Right, they could be anybody. It's a nightmare yeah. for people who, who are victimized by this. I, I think the thing that concerns me the most is, is some of the outcomes that we've seen because of the great influx, this massive influx that we're seeing, have been somewhat predictable. The overflowing of shelters. You could have called that one out way before it happened. The Democratic leadership across the country stepping up and calling in the federal government to do something because now it's in their <clears> backyards. The concern about the squatting is we've just seen these big arrests out of New York City of a group of Venezuelans, some of them that had records, guns, drugs allegedly found there, uh, that at some point, as this continues to happen, if it's continued to allow, there'll be some sort of confrontation where a homeowner actually gets hurt. Just a moment ago, we showed a fire. So it's a very dangerous situation, and it's one that's escalating. And if it comes to a bad outcome, that was a predictable bad outcome. Tammy Bruce, take a crack at the squatting issue if you want to. Other question as well, though. Fetterman, is this the guy he's always been? Were we wrong about him? Has he changed? What's going on? I think when anybody has a life-threatening experience, an existential experience, as he did with his stroke, things begin to change when you realize, oh, wait a minute, tomorrow might be the last day. If that, I think that affected him. He then had depression, and he went into uh, the hospital for that, and then he went into therapy. And I think for me, my, partly my ability to escape the left was that I was in psychotherapy a couple times a week. Nobody else was. And when you're getting outside points of view about the nature of how you view the world and the nature of, of envy and anger and rage, which is what is fueled and perpetuated on the left, if you can move away from that personally, it's amazing how you view the world differently. I think that's part of his experience. And when it comes to the squatting, I guess that was a CVS. It wasn't even just somebody's house. I think we should just go to Saks Fifth Avenue. We can just put up a tent in the basement, and then I can claim the entire store, apparently. <laughs> of course. Yeah, why smash and grab? When you why can smash just... and grab when you can just move in and be the boss? Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.